Dear students, now we are going to discuss station keeping techniques in satellite communication. In satellite communication, it is very important to keep the geostationary satellite in its correct orbital path. So this is the geostationary orbit. So here we have to keep the geostationary orbit in its correct path because due to the orbital perturbations, the geostationary satellite may drift slowly along the orbit. Okay, so it changes its position. So here, orbital perturbations means equatorial ellipticity of the year. Here, the equatorial plane is not a perfect circular. It is having some ellipticity. So that is called as equatorial ellipticity as well as the gravitational pull of the sun and moon so this pattern being forces drift the satellites to change its position. So we need to avoid to change its position by using some techniques that is called as station keeping. So due to equatorial ellipticity of the earth, the satellite drifts its position slowly along the orbit. It can be deviated to either 75 degree east or 105 degree west. Okay, so these two stable points are known as satellite graveyards. So at these two points, the satellites are not working in a proper condition. So here we need to avoid to move towards these two positions. So for that we can use some propulsion system or thrusters. Okay, so here Keeping the station or orbit assigned for it is known as station keeping method. So it is the orbital control process required to maintain a stationary orbit using satellite thrusters. It can be a jet. Okay. So here we are using thrusters or jets to avoid the drift due to the orbital perturbations. Do you all understand this concept? Station keeping methods are mainly used to compensate the effects due to the orbital perturbations. So it is mainly used to keep the satellite in its assigned orbit. Okay, there are two types of station keeping manuals used in satellite communication. So manuals means it is a system which uses propulsion to change the orbital path. Okay. So there are two types, one is east-west station keeping manual, next one is north-south station keeping manual. So here east-west station keeping, it deals with longitude, okay. So here this north and south, it deals with the latitude, okay. The first one is east-west station keeping manuals. Due to the equatorial ellipticity of the earth, the satellite drifts slowly along the orbit in east or west direction. So here an oppositely directed velocity component like propulsion, thrusters or jets can be used to oppose the drift in the opposite direction. So these jets are pulsed once every two or three weeks to drift back the satellite to its original position. So here the satellite uh, remains its original position until the jets are pulsed again. Okay. So these manuals are called as east-west station keeping manuals. So here the drift is done only for longitude. So here we can have some longitude tolerance limits. So satellites in C band like 6 by 4 gigahertz must be kept within plus or minus 0 0.1 degree. That is the tolerance limit for this C band. So similarly, we can have the longitude tolerance limit for Q band that is 14 by 12 gigahertz range is plus or minus 0 0.05 degree. Okay. So next, north south station keeping manuals. So here, due to the gravitational pull of the sun and moon, the geostationary satellites drift in its latitude also. So here you can see that. So this is the geostationary satellite here the inclination is zero because the equatorial plane is same as that of the geostationary orbit. So here the inclination is equal to zero but due to the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon 
Here the geostationary sea lights drift in the latitude. That means here the inclination value is not equal to zero. So this forces cause the inclination to change at the rate of 0.85 degree per year. So here this drifting can be done like this. Okay, due to the gravitational pull of the sun and the moon. Here the geostationary orbit becomes like this with inclined with this equatorial plane okay so if it is not corrected what will happen inclination will increase from 0 degree to 14.67 degree in 26.6 years okay so it is entirely changed with respect to this equatorial plane okay in order to prevent the shift in inclination that means in latitude from the specified limits here we are going to use jets Okay, so it may be pulsed at the appropriate time to return the inclination as zero. So inclination is the angle between the equatorial plane and the geostationary orbit. Okay, it should always be zero. So this manuals are called as north-south station keeping manuals. So to tolerance limit for C band is plus or minus 0 0.1 degree. Then the tolerance for Q band is plus or minus 0 0.05 degree. So the north-south manios are much more expensive in fuel, okay, to keep the orbit as same as that of equatorial plane. So here very important concept is the inclination angle is always 0 degree. Okay.